Hi guys. It is actually turning into a pleasant, a little bit sticky day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this lovely Saturday morning. It is April 17th, 2021, so the little dog and I need to get serious about packing our gas sucking truck to head to New York, baby. But you guys are in luck uh, because right here on the mainstream media, you get to hear two collapse chronicles today. We're going to start over in what I call the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool. Uh, trying to teach you guys the difference and between the shallow end and the deep end. I'm going to put this little dog down for this. And right here on Yahoo News today, we have swimming through the doomsday prophecy pool. We're going to start over in, uh, where is this, Lebanon? Yes. I love it when we actually see the word collapse <clears throat> in the mainstream media. This is good old Reuters news on Yahoo News today. Uh, looking at what collapse is going to look like. If you want to understand uh, what more and more it's going to actually look like as all of this house of cards comes apart, let's look at if you want to believe the mainstream media of course let's look uh, at what it looks like in Lebanon today and I say it was April 17 2021 with food and fuel food and fuel Hezbollah braces for the worst in Lebanon collapse all right, diving into the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool here. What it's going to look like, uh, if not for you, for your little bundles of joy. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Beirut for this story. Lebanon's Hezbollah has made preparations for an all-out collapse of the fracturing state issuing ration cards for food, importing medicine, and readying storage for fuel from its patron, Iran. Three sources familiar with the plans told Reuters. The moves responding to a grave economic crisis would mark an expansion of services provided by the armed movement to its large Shiite support base with a network that already boasts charities, a construction firm, and a pension system. Oh yeah. <clears throat> These steps highlight rising fears of an implosion of the Lebanese state in which authorities can no longer import food or fuel to keep the lights on. They underline Hezbollah's growing role in tackling the emergency with services that the Lebanese government would otherwise provide. Yes. The plan chimes with worries in Lebanon that people there will have to rely on political factions for their food and security in the way many did in the militia days of the 1975 to 1990 Civil War. Um, in response to questions about the plans, Leela Hatoum, an advisor, said the country was, quote, in no condition to refuse aid regardless of politics. Uh, the sources who declined to be named, I bet they did, said the plan for a potential worst case scenario has gathered pace as an end to subsidies loom in the coming months, raising the specter of hunger and unrest. I always love that word, unrest. That's a polite way of saying Mad Max. Um, 
Let's see, what's going on with the currency? Lebanon's currency has crashed as the country runs out of dollars with no state rescue in sight. Food prices in Lebanon have shot up 400%. Fights inside supermarkets are now commonplace as are people rummaging through the garbage. A brawl over food packages this week killed one person and injured two others. <clears throat> Hezbollah's plan would help shield its communities from the worst of the crisis. Good luck on that. Uh, Hezbollah did not officially respond to a request for comment. Uh, said one official, quote, the preparations have begun for the next stage. It is indeed an economic battle plan. All right, so what is with this ration card? Already the new ration card seen by Reuters helps hundreds of people buy basic goods in the local currency. Uh, largely Iran Iranian, Lebanese, and Syrian cheaper items at a discount up to 40% subsidized by the party. Uh, yep. That is Hezbollah. It is, it is described here as an Iran-funded paramilitary force which critics once called quote a state within a state uh, Washington which deems Hezbollah as a terrorist group has ramped up sanctions to choke off its sources of funding yeah uh, and while Hezbollah gives ration cards, the state, you know, the official Lebanese government, hollowed out by decades of graft and debt, has talked up the idea of such a card for nearly a year without acting. All right, we're going to look at darkness and hunger, and they collapse. <clears throat> Photos on social media of shelves uh, stacked with canned goods from one of Hezbollah's co-ops spread across Lebanon last week. Uh, Fatima Hamoud said the ration card allows her once a month to buy grain, oil, and cleaning products for her household of eight. I'm assuming that means that she's still with her husband, six children. This is the first hint of uh, maybe one of the reasons for the problem Lebanon is in, but uh, we're not going to go there. They know we're in bad shape, she said. Without them, what would we have done in these tough times? Yes. Another one said the card offers a quota based on family size for needs like sugar and flour. Uh, the sources added that Hezbollah has similar plans for medicine imports. Uh, Two of the sources said the plan includes stockpiling fuel from Iran as Lebanon's energy minister warns of a possible total blackout of the grid. Uh, quoting the senior official, quote, when we get to a stage of darkness and hunger, you will find Hezbollah going to its backup option, and that is a grave decision 
then Hezbollah will fill in for the state. If it comes to that, the party would have taken its precautions to prevent a void. There you go. So uh, we have a snapshot of the collapse over there in Lebanon. But uh, we're going to take a swim now from the shallow end of the Doomsday Prophecy Pool as the mainstream media. And we're going to head over to the deep end of the Doomsday Prophecy Pool. But we're going to make it a separate ramp where we're going to dive into several versions of this story. Uh, we're going to look at good old Reuters news version. Scientists find only 3% of land areas unblemished. I love that word. Unblemished <laughs> by humans. How, how many words did they go through to think of unblemished? I can think of another word for unblemished. But this is a family channel, so we will not use the F-bomb for unblemished. Coming right up. Bye, guys.